First Lieutenant Sherrod Guidry. I'm an infantry officer in 123 Infantry Battalion here at JBLM. I decided to join and be part of a profession of arms um, to better myself and also challenge myself with a rewarding career. Growing up, I always looked up to Colin Powell. Not even really knowing much about the service, he reminded me a lot of myself and gave me somebody to look up to. Serving as a four-star general during the Gulf War, serving Joint Chiefs of Staff, and then post uh, his Army career, serving as a Secretary of State, he's always given me someone to inspire to be. No matter who he served with or whatever odds he came against, he always was the utmost professional. Um, and with those same values uh, and a time like today, I ensure that I keep myself to those same professional standards. If he can definitely you know, make it in his career, then I know I definitely can too. Without a Colin Powell, you have to wonder if there ever would be a General Lloyd Austin or, or you know, even people like myself that would be able to serve in that capacity. Hi, I'm Sergeant Jade Lopez. I'm the Religious Affairs Specialist at 7th Infantry Division Headquarters. I decided to join to branch out and get a different experience in life. Major General Xavier Brunson. His father is a retired Star Major in the Army, and I personally think that having the Army lifestyle and the values that we carry instilled at him at a young age contributes to why he's such a powerful leader in today's Army. I like his genuine authenticity. I personally love that coming from the Chaplain Corps, that he takes pride in what we do and what we contribute to the mission and the unit. He is very confident in his faith in God, and he is not afraid to show it, especially as someone at that high level. And I love that he's really about soldiers, not just as soldiers, but as human beings. He's really about getting to know who you are, and I think that's what makes him such a great leader. Major General Brunson is one of the very few African-American division commanders. Um, he just re recently linked his command, but I think that overall that is such an inspiring thing for soldiers across the board. Um, for me, it shows that I can accomplish my goals and the dreams that I have even while serving. And I'm really hoping that the imprint that he has left and is continuing to leave on the Army inspires soldiers across the Army. He talked about how his father taught him the importance of your name. And I remember him saying in the interview, his father taught him, I will be good with this name. So I personally think that that is helping me to reevaluate how I carry myself as a black female in the Army not only as Jade or Sergeant Lopez, but as a leader. And I'm hoping that I can figure out how to contribute that and to carry that kind of presence to make impact on soldiers and on the organization.